Profit for Lawyer YouTube subscribers. Today it is Thursday, April 23rd. The year is 2020. Yesterday, Donald Trump announced that he did not approve of uh, Governor Kemp's uh, reopening of Georgia and the businesses that he reopened. He said that some of the businesses were not should not have been included in phase one. I mean, the biggest concern they have, well, well, if you're trying to stop a disease that's being spread by people, but you open up gyms, barbershops, massage parlors, beauty salons, bowling alleys, all places where people come in contact with one another, but in particularly gyms and massage parlors and beauty salons and barbershops, there's no way you're going to be able to attend any of those places and not come, come in contact with another person. And gyms in particular tend to be filthy environments. So there's a report here and it's just saying, well, how did the gyms end up on the list to be reopened? With the lobbying push, uh, this is reporting in, in CNN, it says, with lobbying push, gyms get on phase one of Trump's reopening plan. When President Donald Trump revealed his guidelines for opening up America again last week, among the bold names of businesses and institutions that could reopen were restaurants, movie theaters, places of worship, so, so as long as they adhere to strict social distancing protocols. Tucked near the bottom of the list, right above a warning that bars should stay closed, was a curious inclusion, gyms. With an integral part of many Americans' routines, Gyms and fitness clubs would seem to present a particular risk for contact spread of a contagious virus. Right. Filled with people sweating and breathing hard, sharing equipment and spaces, gyms are in many ways the last kind of business to prioritize to a daily, during a daily pandemic. Their inclusion follows a last-minute lobbying push by an industry not known for flexing its muscles in Washington. While not every major company was part of the effort, conversations with 10 leaders in the fitness club business revealed an influential network of relationships that kicked into gear over the past few weeks and helped move gyms to the front of the line, even to the surprise of many in the industry. Noteworthy figures in the effort include a Trump-loving fitness center owner in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Rudy Giuliani's son, Andrew, billionaire real estate mogul Steve Ross and the U.S. Surgeon General. So they, they use money and influence to get the gyms pushed to the list to get them open. Um, you all have been in gyms, going to gyms since I was 19 years of age. I've attended all types of gyms, hole in the walls, very expensive gyms, gyms with towel service and cleaning service. Uh, gyms remain and will always be one of the most filthiest environments that you can go into and, and work out. There's no way they can keep a gym 100% clean, even after they scrubbed all this equipment down because of the sweat in the air, the humidity, the air conditioning, the fans going. I want, you know, I'm just keeping it real. I love going to the gym. I ain't no fool. I picked up a couple of bacteria or viruses in gyms. That I, I had an infection on my back that just would not go away. After many instances of going to um, going to a dermatologist before she realized, we began to realize what the problem was that the, the bacteria had actually gotten to the seat of my car that I picked up in the gym and I had to go have my car thoroughly cleaned and before my back began to clear up the, the bacteria. Um, I love working out. I love gyms, but come on now. This is kind of like, y'all, Sunday right here. I, when I saw these gyms and all this stuff open, I thought something's kind of crazy. Uh, let's keep reading. Among the most influential advocates is an Iranian-born founder of one of the country's largest fitness club gyms, Baham Akadi of Lifetime Fitness. That's an expensive-ass gym. Akadi has been pitching... Governors and the Trump administration, what he calls a comprehensive, multifaceted tactical plan to fight the coronavirus and, re coronavirus and rebuild the economy. 
He now finds himself on one of Trump's economy recovery working. What happened? Recovery. He now finds himself himself on one of Trump's economic recovery working groups in conference calls with the president himself, including on the day to day, the day before Trump releases his new guidelines. Multiple people at fitness center companies, from executive at giants like Gold's Gym to independent health clubs, told CNN they did not expect the gyms to be mentioned in reopening plans from other from either the Trump administration or Georgia Republican Brian Kemp, who announced Monday fitness centers were included and in several public space businesses that could begin reopened by the end of the week. Now, this is what I'm going to say about all these gyms. You got a lot of motherfuckers who cannot wait to get to these gyms. And a lot of people are going to be running in and out of these gyms and it's going to become a breeding ground for coronavirus. You get all these people. I, mean, I didn't talk to everybody in their damn mama. People just swear. They're going to be fine and they're going to have no issues. They cannot wait to get into these gyms. I've kind of sit back on the sidelines like, because I know gyms. Unless they're planning on bringing in a team of people to clean and, and um, disinfect that gym every hour on the hour. I think we're going to have some problems in these gyms. Gyms are filthy environments. I've been in them for two. I've, I've been in gyms for, since I was, I'm 50. I've been going to gyms since I was 19. 30 years of experience in these filthy gyms. I know how nasty they are. They're nasty. And the people who go there are nasty. I like to shower and clean up before going to the gym. The average person is not going to do that. I like to shower. I, before I would go to the gym, I would go home, take a shower, change clothes, put on clean clothes, and go into the gym. Most people do not do that. <laughs> they just go straight from work into the gym. I'm like, I, you know, have you ever been inside the gym working out? Somebody was so motherfucking funky you wanted to kill their fucking ass. It's like, nigga, you need to die. Or uh, somebody who. Break to t wears the same gym clothes over and over and maybe leaves them in the locker and then puts them back on the next day and they smell horrendous. There was this one guy coming to the gym. I used to call him the Funky Bear. Funky Bear was awful. That nigga was... Uh, he smelled awful. He was just poor hygiene. So, I didn't want to open up these gyms. People gonna run in there. I've been just trying to do my little workouts here. I'd have to wait until everything calms down in these gyms. You know, give people a chance to, you know, you know, return to their regular routines. Cause I, but I like I like to go to the gym when there's no crowd there. When I go in, the equipment's empty. I can get on and work out. This time of the year, the gyms are mostly empty. This time of the year, when I I get there at one two o'clock in the afternoon, everybody in that damn gym. Now with if I went, if, if I were to go when the gym opens on the first May first, that gym is gonna be packed. I think I'll pass for now. You know, so I'll, I'll catch up to the gym later on. But I think the gym is gonna be. I think a lot of motherfuckers gonna get the coronavirus. The coronavirus is gonna be back right there working out with the ass. The coronavirus, 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 coronavirus. It's the coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Come on, right there in the gym, coronavirus, coronavirus. Coronavirus, coronavirus. They're going to be doing their cardio, working out. Coronavirus over there working out right with the ass. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Shoulder press. The coronavirus, coronavirus. Arms exercise. The coronavirus is going to be right there with the asses. So we're going to see how this plays out. In the middle of a pandemic, they didn't rush to open back up these gyms. How are they going to keep them clean? Are they planning on hiring a crew of people to run through there, spraying these gyms down every third? That's one thing I have never understood about this pandemic in the United States. When you look at other countries, they spray everything down. They got all kinds of bleach they spraying or whatever. They got machines, people, groups of people spraying. Spray. I haven't seen that yet in this country. Which leads me to believe, are we really, leads me to believe, are we really trying to kill the virus and stop the spread? When do we start spraying when do we start spraying disinfectant? When the plane, I mean, where's the stuff? I don't, I haven't seen it. I'm looking like when are they going to spray down the streets and the, the, the public transportation and places with high traffic areas? Where are we in? They ain't. So that should tell you something right there. Let me give me some coffee. These motherfuckers ain't thinking about 
trying to stop this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, they ain't on the agenda. They've done nothing they should be doing. I mean, absolutely nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. They have no plans on doing it either. So I'm trying to figure out how the hell are we going to get rid of this shit if they're not going to go and spray and clean and disinfect. Every time I look on the other, uh, uh, on, 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 online to other countries, they over there spray and clean every damn thing. Not here in the United States. They haven't sprayed any damn thing. LA Fitness would have to have a, a team of people. These gyms would literally have to have a team of people in there scrubbing and scrubbing those gyms from top to bottom, from sun up to sun down, spraying constantly, spraying because people kind of in and out. The virus is shedding, people breathing. Well, that's just my thoughts on it. Because I know a lot of people can't wait to get back into these gyms. They just die, they can't wait, they're on a rush. I've always got a kind of weird life. I know no rush to get to no filthy and by filthy gym. I stay here and work out. At least here I know what's going on in my house. <laughs> but maybe they'll come in there and clean and spray down the gym. Every 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 hour, two hours, they'll clean everybody out the gym and then disinfect the gym. Who knows? But it'd be very curious to see, but I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they're going to do that. I just think that... um. The gyms will continue to be vectors for the virus. You know, they're going to continue to, to keep passing. I know here's a question somebody's asking. How are they going to make sure that people work out that they're six feet away from each other at all times? I mean, how are they going to stop them from being near each other in the locker rooms? The locker rooms and locker rooms and bathrooms are filthy. The bathrooms in there. Woo. I, I'll be driving to the gym and I'll be looking for someplace else to stop to use the bathroom. I say, hey, bathroom. I need to stop someplace and give me my, where it's a clean bathroom before I have to get to LA Fitness and use that filthy bathroom because it is filthy. Filthy. Smells horrible, filthy, everything bad. But hey, we shall see. <laughs> we shall see how this plays out. Yeah, but I think a lot of people are going to be catching the coronavirus and every other bacteria and virus. Gyms are known. I had to step away for a second. Um, but the only way I would go back into a gym to work out, myself personally, um, is if I'd have to have masks multiple masks that I would probably trade out every 20 minutes or 30 minutes and dispose of. Um, my own disinfectant spray to spray down the equipment and wipe down the equipment. My own cleaning cl cl cloth to spray and clean, which is what I normally do anyway. But my own disinfectant to spray and clean. Um, I couldn't work out there's a large crowd of people. If all the machines are full and people are in there, I don't, I have to come back at another time. It has to be during the, I'd have to work out during the time of day when no one was there. And there are times in the day when nobody's there. At least it was prior to the coronavirus pandemic. So now I can see everybody and their mama racing back to get in there. But um, as that settles down, the crowds will disappear. So I'll go in there during the daytime, like after lunch. And, you know, either in the morning time or after lunch, somewhere up in there. I couldn't do that four, five, six o'clock crowd. Hell no, too many people, too many germs. And let me just state this because I'm talking to a lot of my friends and they're like, you, you can't be paranoid about this and this and that and that. Just listen, let me make this clear to you motherfuckers. I'm not going to nobody's funerals. I'm not. You will be cremated. So we ain't about to sit up at funeral after funeral after funeral in 2020. That ain't happening. I didn't have enough. My mother's husband did pass away. Me and I discussed it. He'd be cremated. We're moving on. They want too much for these funerals. They too crowded. You can't even get into them. Too many deaths going on. There's too much stuff. So those of you who want to risk running into the LA Fitness and Crunch Fitness and every other gym out there, that's fine. You do so at your own risk. But please be, let it be known right now. A lot of us will not be showing up at your funeral because you in there at five o'clock amongst 500 other people working out. Now I did read where Anytime Fitness said that it will be opening in one hour sessions. The gym will be open for an hour, closed for a 30 minute shutdown for a 30 minute cleaning, then we open for another hour. So throughout the day they'll have these 
hour long sessions followed by 30 minute cleaning, then another hour long session by followed by 30 minute cleaning. That might be a good idea. How they can make that work at something like a gym as big as LA Fitness, I don't know. But they're going to do something to have to clean that damn gym. Now, LA Fitty, Fitness can be a very filthy, nasty gym. I've been going there for years, and I don't care how. It, on the surface, it might look clean and pretty, but it ain't as filthy. Filthy. Them rugs and carpet and mats, all that shit filthy. Filthy as hell. So go back at your own risk. Everybody knows their own risk. Like I said, I'm going to have multiple masks that I can change out throughout the day and throw away. Put on fresh masks. Um, I'm even going to try. I even have my, my little workout glasses. I can wear them. Um, you know, I hate when things fog up. Do my, I'll figure out. I'll try, you know. I, I'm going to give it a try to see what I can while this is going on. But if, if it, it ain't all that serious to me because I've been working out for years. There's a lot of stuff I can do right here in the comfort of my home. Turn on the TV. You know, I ain't got to argue with nobody about this shit. Only thing I need is an exercise bike here, and I might proceed to go ahead and buy one. It don't cost much. You can come to live and set it up. I'll sit right here in my living room and watch TV. Uh, I can do my cardio in the morning. I might either get an elliptical machine or a bike. I'm leaning more towards the elliptical machine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn, coffee got me burping, belching, and burping. But. Though there, this is the, the key. Everybody wants to run back to these gyms, and I get it. Just be careful. Protect yourself. It's your health. Your health is your wealth. And pay attention if you start to get sick or something happens. Immediately go get treatment. I get an antibiotic. You do something. And the way people are dropping dead from this stuff so suddenly and so quick within a few days, you can't dilly dally with this mess. As soon as you feel you have chest congestion and you have coughing, you need to get someplace fast and get some help. Um, if there's any help that can be, if uh, uh, you get anything, you know, I just don't know. Um, but people are still dying here in Georgia. People are still dying all over the United States. I was supposed to be looking at the numbers. I have the TV on, but I was supposed to be looking at the numbers. They give you an update on how many people have died. And I don't think I have my glasses on to see it. I can't, I can't, hold on. I don't think I can see it. That's the wrong channel. Let's see, because normally the governor, yep, yeah, okay, so doing the death tally, let's see how many Americans didn't die. Let me put on my glasses so I can see. All right, so, so far we have 40, Almost 47,000 deaths here in the United States. And, um, so 47,000 deaths so far. And you have to see what's going to happen with the, Georgia, the governor of Georgia, the Georgia, the governor of Georgia, and if he's going to proceed, proceed forward, proceed forward, even after Donald Trump has told him he disagrees with his game plan of opening up certain businesses. So I don't know how he came up with these businesses, but hey. But regardless of whether he wants to open shit or not, y'all use, use your common sense. Do you really need to go get your hair done? Do you need to get your nails done? Do you really need to go get a massage parlor? <coughs> my back been killing me for weeks now. And I have a massage therapy I normally call to my home. I ain't called that man yet. I'm like, shit, I need this damn back. I'm over there trying to figure it out on my own, but I have not called that man. I just have him. He's my, I don't know what he out there doing. He could be doing massages under the table all over the city. I can come in contact with hundreds of people. I don't know. So I just said, you know, I'll deal with that, deal with that later. Sometimes just be cautious. There's nothing wrong with being cautious. Sometimes people, we criticize each other. Thinking, ah, you scared. You scared of this. I'm being cautious and I like life. Even though I'm firmly aware that me and Earl have already dealt with the coronavirus, I'm still being cautious. I ain't stupid over here, but that's just my thoughts and my opinions. Y'all welcome to do what you want to. When them gyms open and you want to run up there and run out throughout them gyms and run and go get your hair done and get your nails done and get your massage parlor and get your barbershop, go do whatever the fuck you want to do. This is America. But don't call me when you're sick. Because I ain't coming. I ain't coming. I shaved my head yesterday. Ran that razor right on across. Put that shaving cream on, spray my little alcohol, it looks fine. This beard, evil, I'm letting it grow, let it grow in. She ain't hurt nobody. People have to make their own decisions. We all grown people. And if going to the hair salon 
in barbershop, in gym, in nail shop, in bowling alley, if all that's important to you. And next week, there will be movies open. If you feel safe and comfortable, go knock yourself out. Those of us who don't feel comfortable going into those environments, hey, then stay at home. I mean, you don't have to participate. But what I understand, most of the movies they have, the movie theaters now, you can see on TV. The drive-in theater opened last night. I love going to the drive My personal, me and Earl have always loved going to the drive-in theater. We brought our own popcorn, snacks, drinks, liquor, every damn thing. Said they watched the movie and drove our ass home. And it was a whole lot cheaper. Maybe some of y'all can begin experience some stuff like the, like the movie theaters. It's the drive-in movie theater. is a lot more fun. I don't know, but again, people are grown. They're going to do what they want to. People are going to go where they want to do and do just knock yourself out. Just be willing to deal with the consequences if something were to happen. Uh, gyms are bad. I'm, I, just, I swear to y'all, I've been in so many filthy gyms that don't make no damn sense. They have they, <laughs> in bathrooms. I go in there and say, what in the hell? The odor? Ooh, mm -mm. No, no. It's very rare I was showering in gyms. And if I forgot my shower shoes, it was a done deal. I'd rather just change into some dry clothes. Hop in my car, go home, take all that stuff out and shower at home and throw all that stuff I had in the washing machine. That's what I normally would do. Because that just was better for me. Uh, you know, occasionally I would shower in the gym if the bathroom, had, if the showers were clean. I mean, it's a shame you got to come in there and spray it. You come in with your own sh the stuff to clean the shower out and spray it. Because I've seen guys do that, go in and spray that shit out before they even hop in their feet in there. And ain't nothing like getting foot fungus and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been in some gyms and I've had some issues. So, mm -mm. No way. I know to keep my distance from. If you're going to work out, choose a time where it's not that crowded in there. Bring your own cleaning supplies, just your own Lysol spray or whatever. Spray that equipment down. Wipe it down with your towel or whatever. Keep it clean. And when you get finished, clean it again for the next person. And, you know, move on. Just This will be in a whole new world here. You just cannot rely upon their cleaning supplies at the gym. You know, they have the little stuff they spray in a little water. You don't want that diluted mess. Bring your own cleaning stuff. Can you own keep a little bottle of stuff ain't gonna kill you to buy that any that way? Spray that stuff down and be done with it. If that's what you want to do, I strongly recommend to make sure you have some masks and gloves and protect yourself. That's all you can do if that's what y'all or if that's if that's important to you. But anyway, today it is it is Thursday. It is April twenty third. The year is two thousand and twenty, and I'm out of here. It's about ten thirty. I need to make me some breakfast. I'm out, y'all. Have a nice day.